Good morning, all. Thank you for joining in today's uh, Monday devotional. Hope everyone had a wonderful and blessed Mother's Day weekend. What a way to end the week and begin this one by honoring all mothers. Where would we be without them, without Eve? Let's pray. Heavenly Father, I thank you for this new day. Thank you for the opportunity to begin again. A fresh start for many new beginnings. May the sun shine on us and your sun reign in us. Thank you for your love and mercy. I pray for families, peace and protection, for great health and sound minds, for strength, favor, humidity, and wisdom. I give it all to you, Lord. Holy Spirit, have your way, everything, everything through you and with you. Amen. I pray for others. Ah, the daily challenges, the struggles we all seem to go through. We all have struggles. Some of them, some of us cope well, better than others. Uh, you know, some of these cha uh, challenges that we come across, you know, they're, they're, some of them are pretty, pretty hard. You know, some of us lose loved ones. Some ones are sick. COVID is in the midst. Still hasn't left. Be here for a while. Um, yeah, some of us are employed. Some of us are just lost, lost in the world. You know, they need to be reached out and, and found. And uh, we need, we need you, Lord Jesus Christ, to intervene here, Heavenly Father. Lord, as, as most of us begin our work week, those dreadful Mondays, yes, dreadful Mondays, we tend to put, a, put on unsurmountable pressure on ourselves to push through and get to Friday as soon as we can. By doing so, we're only getting ourselves older quicker. For most, we find solace in our weekends. We remove ourselves from the eight to 12 hour job or school grind. Sometimes we get to relax for a couple of days to enjoy family, go out on outings. Some ponder and just sit there at home and just ponder on that coming dreadful Monday again. Sometimes we develop stress and anxiety. We live in difficult times, more so now that many of us have wavered from the truth, from the truth, from God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. We have to make time for Jesus Christ. He is our stress reliever. If God so loved the world and gave his one and only Son that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life the way it says in john three sixteen. why can't we give ourselves fully unto him don't go through your trials stress anxiety depression all by yourself reach out to a loved one a trusting friend a christian that will comfort and lead you to the truth through prayer Remember, the only thing great, the, the only thing greater than your circumstance is God through His Son, Jesus Christ. For us Christians, believers, it is our duty as God's servants, representatives, to intervene and help others through prayer for others. To help others to, to, through prayer for others. Why is prayer important? Prayer is, a, is an important Prayer is an opportunity to spend time with God, to understand God. God, through prayer, opens eyes, changes hearts, heals wounds, and grants wisdom. Never underestimate the power of prayer. It draws on the glory and might of our mighty God. In the book of First Timothy, the first book of Timothy, it says, I urge then, first of all, that petitions, prayers, intercession, and thanksgiving be made for all people, for kings 
and all those in authority that we may live peacefully and quiet lives in all, in all godliness and holiness. This is good and pleases God, our Savior, who wants all people to be saved and to come to a knowledge of the truth. Being obedient in prayer for others clears the way for God's work and His will to be done. Matthew 18, 20 through the message says, When two of you get together on anything at all on earth and make a prayer out of it, my Father in heaven goes into action. And when two or three of you are together because of me, you can be sure that I'll be there. Isaiah 55, 11, So my word which goes from my mouth will not return to me empty, it will do what I want it to do and will carry out my plan well. Matthew twenty-two, thirty-seven, forty. 37-40 Jesus replied, Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. This is the first and greatest commandment and second is like it. Love your neighbor as yourself. All the law and prophets hang on these two commandments. So if you don't like going through hardships yourself, why would you allow your neighbor, man, to go through them? Love on them, pray for them. Even if one is doing great things, pray for them, with them, for continual blessings. In Philippians, Paul reminds us to put others and their needs ahead of our own. Philippians 2, 3-4 do, not, do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit. Rather, in humility, value others above yourselves, not looking to your own interests, but each of you to the interests of the others. As we go on, we'll be praying for people that have lost loved ones, people that are sick, that are unemployed, lost, for anyone that needs prayer. We are here for you all through God, through His Son, Jesus Christ. God loves you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Have a blessed week. Love you all.